This is a tutorial video on how to solder Galago to the header pins that we include with each one. What you'll need to do this is a solderless breadboard like I have here. Um, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a regular old-fashioned breadboard, not the solderless variety, but it really helps to have this one. And some solder, of course. This is a silver, tin, copper, and antimony blend from SparkFun. I'm big on lead-free solder. I think everyone should use it. Um, you can use leaded if you like, just remember not to eat it and wash your hands. Okay, so the first step is to take Galago and to fit the pins into the underside of it um, in a way that they are held steadily. So we'll do this with our first and second finger. On, uh, In my case, I'm right-handed, so on my right hand. We'll just place them in and see how I pinch them from the side, from the top rather, to hold them in place so they're not falling out when I turn it over. So what we'll do now is we'll take this and set it upon the solderless breadboard, not in, don't push it in, just rest it on top, and this will hold it steadily, um, geometrically and mechanically, so we can solder to it. Let's start with the left side of pins. The left row is the one that uh, has V in down here, and um, P2 at the other end. So we'll take our solder and our soldering iron, and what you need to do is basically just feed the solder into where the iron is resting on top of the pin and see because they have no protrusion on the top side it makes it really easy and smooth to go across. So here we go. Just fill in enough solder to create a nice convex bubble on the top. Hold it on there for about a second or so as I'm doing here um, to let it fill in and feel free to retouch like this if you need to. What you want to do is make sure that the solder correctly flows in um, and bonds the pin to the uh, hole. And that's it for the left side. On the right side, we'll do the same thing, starting from P1 and going to ground. And we'll just feed the solder in to create a nice, smooth dome on the top. And that one that one needs some more right there. There. So when you're happy with it, move on to the next one. And you know you can actually do it fairly quickly with very accurate results. And that's it. Now that we have both sides done, let's see how it turned out. Both sides are complete, but solder leaves residue behind that we have to clean off. Now there are a few ways to do this, but I like to use an old sponge like this, onto which I'll pour some isopropyl alcohol. And um, we can then just rub the two different sides where the solder uh, flux residue is left over, and rub them until that's gone. The isopropyl alcohol dissolves it. There we go, nice and clean. And that's it, pins soldered onto a Galago.